don't need them out here. Oh, wait, this one's set, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't use it very often because in the neighborhoods, I don't want to make a bunch of noise, but you're bringing it out, so you're like, right here. Yeah. So, fun, that's about half. Is this stainless? Yeah. Probably, huh? Good evening. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Yeah, I still got to sweep out my back of my truck and I have to get a, yeah, the handle for that. But my buddy Roman has some, uh, some scrap for me. I'm blocking driveways. That's steel. Looks like aluminum, but it ain't. I'm wrong. That's aluminum. I like being wrong. That keeps me checking on things. Another bike rack. I think it is. No, oh, it's still the one of our. I got a mini bike rack at my house for the teenagers. Man, they can burn through some bikes. All the bikes that I bring home, which are pretty thrashed, uh, mostly. Um, but uh, yeah, they ride them till they fall apart and then scrap them and move on. I, <laughs> I'm just picturing what it was like when they were wrestling with that mattress to put on that, all that cellophane. Ah, oh, that must have been amusing. Why do I want these? These are cool. With all of these little pieces of metal that I'm grabbing, it's gonna be difficult when I run across the, the appliance or large piece of scrap. Because ideally, I want all of this stuff upright so I have all of this extra room. With everything laying flat, it's gonna be difficult. But who knows, I can't control how and in what order I get the scrap. See aluminum ladder, oh, there's, oh. Is that an ax or a sledgehammer? I don't know what that is. Check that out. Spidey webs on it. Wow, that's just cool. I bet this is quite old. I'm gonna take a few of the spidey webs off of it. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, this is uh, going up front. Ooh, it's a little bit dangerous. Yes. I'll bet you work just fine. This is a super cool shovel. Yeah, you can use a ladder rack. Here, cans, books. What kind of books are we talking about here? Ooh. Automotive technology principles, and look at the size of this thing. James Holderman. Really? Wow. I'll bet this is a hundred bucks. Yeah, Pearson, that's a that's a college publisher. What edition is it? 
What year? Where's the copyright? Wow, 2016. Yeah. So that's the first one I grabbed. Bonk. Huh. What else we got going on in here? There's so much in here. Oops. <laughs> Tire pressure monitoring system guide. Look at this. <laughs> you, who would know that it has that much in a uh, tire pressure monitoring system? Uh. Yeah, this is all automotive stuff. Basic automotive service systems. Today's technician. Wow. Computerized engine controls. Oh my goodness. Conceptual physics. Yeah, I'll take this. Because that interests me. This is brand new. Automotive, automatic transmission books. What? I'm not taking everything, but I'll take a couple of things, I guess. Automotive air conditioning. Engine performance. Automotive principles and service. All right, I'm gonna take a, this one, this one, and this one. Wow. It's just full, completely full. What do you think's inside of here? Whoa. At least I'll take it to the library and donate it there. What? I bet this thing works right now to jump start a vehicle. Peak amps, 1700. Wow. Who knew? This would be such a gold mine. What is this? It's a warm white twinkling light set. The find of the century. Looking for just a Chilton's manual. Timing belt replacement. Mitchell. Oh, that's what I was just looking at. I am not kidding when I say this. I am only four or five streets into evening scrapping. I'm not saying that to boast. I'm just saying it's pretty cool. <laughs> also. That has to do with randomness. That I can have a bunch of scrap, scrap, <laughs> scrap, an accent, a bunch of scrap in the first few streets and then not see anything else you know, throughout the time simply because of randomness. What is this thing? Hmm. Well, Paul, that's a blobby blobby blah. You know, a 
bet this piece goes into that piece. Oh yeah? How big? Of a car. Yeah. <laughs> if I if, can you and I handle it? Yeah. Alright. You want me to help you pull it out of the garage? Uh, yeah, let me get some stuff from out of the way. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna back up right here. I have quite the eclectic uh, gathering of scrap. Oh, I got some uh, rotors. I would love them, sir. Yeah, I kind of figured. They, yeah, they thanks, man. To them. Yeah, no yeah, I appreciate problem. it. You ready? Ready. All right. Oh, you cut it in two? Uh, one car. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right, let me get a better grip here. Let me try to find a good grip. Okay, I got one. I got one. All right, we're, let's go on this side so we're not going in between your cars. All right. I don't want to scratch up. Okay, took what I needed out of this one. All right. The rest of it was pretty much done. All right, let's sit it down for a sec. Huh. Hmm. Probably on this side right here. You got a sawzall, you mean to cut it out? No, uh, no, cause I'm, I'm gonna load it up and uh, leave it there until I go to the scrap yard. But let's let the lift gate do some of the work here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got lift gate down. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating, huh? Oh, that's you fine. It up and <laughs> We're okay with cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my back is okay with it. Right. Yes, sir. Actually, let me go ahead and do it towards the end here, because oh, yeah. it'll it's kind of tricky. All right. Yeah. I think. Hey. All right. I'll tie it down. Cool. Thank you, sir. I got four more of these in the garage. Do you? Wow. You're hooking me up, man. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. Oh, no problem. We appreciate you. <laughs> I used to scrap back when it was like 100 It's 200 now. Almost 200, yeah. It's 300 a ton for rotors. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, so. 10 cents a pound for regular scrap um, and close to 15 cents a pound for those. So, yeah. So copper's got to be over three then. Huh? Um, yeah, it fluctuates. Oh, copper's, it copper's a bit moody lately. Yeah. So it's a commodity that's just kind of going up and down. But, uh, okay, yeah. Right on, thank you, sir. Wow, it's like Christmas over here. <laughs> Like the ice cream man show up all the neighbors come out wow good stuff hey thanks again all right well you have you have something else in mind uh oh <laughs> Wonderful.
get out and exhaust. Oh wow, it has the manifold on it as well. No way. Hmm. Cadillac converter pro yep all right we'll cut it right there are you okay if I take my sawzall and just cut this what oh okay I'm just gonna make sure can't find the right side let's see is that a Cadillac is this a catalytic converter? Yeah. Okay. Battery pack before it gets buried. Oh, you need to bring a sawzall with you. I have one. I just rarely would use it, especially when I was doing morning scrap. Um, this one, yeah, this is the middle one. I need a battery too. I don't use it very often because in the neighborhoods, I don't want to make a bunch of noise, but you're bringing it out. So you're like right here. Yeah, I'll be so have fun. that's about half. Is this stainless? Yeah. Probably, huh? This guy ain't joking. Hmm. Oh, I might. What? Well, do do you have a different blade? Yes, I do. Cut it. All right. Oh, yeah. oh he's. Yeah, this is no joke here. Oh, goes a long way. <laughs> Gonna keep you from burning your blade out yeah. and help you cut. All right. You know what? I might want to just stick it in the back. Oh, yeah, be careful with that. Fold it. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. Awesome. I think the light. I don't think that's stainless. I think it's titanium. Wow. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that was not gutting. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, well, so this this too might that, that might be worth a few bucks. Yeah, it should be. <clears throat> Zimmerman? Uh, DeKalb Iron Metal. I thought Dental is still open. I know they had the yeah. trying to stay open. It was a couple so years ago, but they're ago. they're doing fine now. Yeah. They got bought out by a company in Aurora. Oh. Yeah, they're doing really good. Hey, thanks again. I appreciate it. Yeah, here's your cutting fuel or uh, the lube, whatever this is. Penetrating oil. Yep, just penetrating oil. Cool, man. Thank you. Not a problem. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were talking after trying to cut that, which we finally did, um, that it was probably titanium and not stainless or regular steel. Thanks again, gentlemen. So if you just trickle tiny amounts of protein. Yeah, yeah, yep, here's the base and that's the umbrella, yeah, yep. You sure you don't want it? No, she bought it last year. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, this pallet has seen better days and this one's missing a slat right there, so I'm not gonna bring it to the scrapyard. Cause I wanna sell to my scrapyard only something that's a good product that they can just use immediately. <laughs> There's no point in packing right now. This is just a big pile of scrap metal. Wee! I should have my scrap song on a loudspeaker like this. I think it's metal. Yep. So yeah, that's a that's a catalytic converter. Not that one. It's on that one. So we'll see what what Michael will say about that catalytic converter. It's like everybody's working on their cars right now because it's such nice weather. It's a pull-up bar. want that trailer which one it's flipped over right now but we can flip it over and you can tow it hmm it's pretty rusted out wow hmm. do i want the trailer i don't think i can use that um i might be able to scrap it if you want it to go away. Yeah, that's all I'm wanting. Um, I don't have a title for it, so it's basically scrap. Yeah. I, I thought maybe I could possibly <laughs> fix it up, but yeah. but I can't. So right. um, I thought, well, if you can. Yeah, yeah, I, I, think it, I think it's life it. as a trailer is, 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 is yeah. doomed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's doomed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's, it looks like it's done. It's, it's, it's been around a while. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done its thing. Yeah. So I didn't know whether you wanted it. If you want, I can work on getting it flipped over and then you can come back tomorrow and pick it up. Yeah. And take it um, away. Totally up to you. I just thought I'd offer it if you it, wanted it. To be honest, with it, with its size, I can't really handle it too well okay. without cutting it up. So I think it'd be a little bit, it's a little bit outside of my league. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, just a pickup truck kind of guy. Tow, I can tow it in there. You right. Know. I got no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. If you towed it in there, they'd, they'd buy it from it. you. I towed it over here, so. Right, yeah. They, they'll buy it from you. Okay. So. Well, then I'll, do, I'll just do that. Yeah. The one over here on 38, just bring um, it up to that one. You could do there's either either one of the three scrapyards. B&O um, Scrapyard in Sycamore. Uh -huh. um, the Cal Byron of Metal, um, which is off of Oak. Okay. Um, and then Zimmerman, which is right off 38. Yeah, and, the one right yep. the mobile. Yeah. Okay. Any one of those three. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that. All right. Yep. Thanks, man. I think I can fit this metal cabinet, if it's metal, into the truck. Oh, it might not be. Yeah, it's metal. 
it's definitely metal. Oh, there's a spade. All right. I'm going up and over the top here. Some helium steel. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem here. Let's do it this way. Alright, so it's not the morning, so I can be loud. Yeah, like that. Quite nice. That'll work. Hmm. I probably should bend this so it doesn't have aerodynamic qualities. Wow, that's my favorite star. And you know where iron came from? Yeah. Whoa, speaking of iron, can you see that piece of lawn art? Yeah. Yeah, iron. Yeah, that was in the, the very last phases, the death throes of a, of a supernova. That's not, that's not right. That's not right. No, this is not right. The iron, yeah. Because you know that that the hydrogen is being, you know, the fusion is turning into helium, which releases a little bit of energy, which that's where all the photons and the heat and everything else comes from. And it just breaks that down into heavier and heavier elements. And each time that helium turns into to um, the hydrogen turns into helium, helium turns into what carbon, carbon turns into oxygen and oxygen turns into, it keeps going until it gets to iron. And iron is the first element where it actually requires energy to go to that next state. What is this? More scrap on the curb? Yep. It's a snowblower. So yeah, when the iron hits, all of a sudden the entire mass of that star, which is turning into iron, it requires energy instead of spitting out energy like the sun is doing. Because obviously I can feel the heat energy coming off of that. But when it hits iron, it requires energy and it completely caves and blows up and turns into a supernova. And that's where we get this stuff from. Because iron didn't exist. Didn't even exist until that moment happened. So yeah. My scrapping iron came from a star. Yes, I am. And that's facts. Yeah, might as well just have the lift gate pick us both up and then I can toss it in there because I have to go above that. Uh oh. Ooh, barely missed it.
Yes, sir. You want two balusters real quick? Yeah. I don't know what a baluster is. Is he talking about ballasts? What's a baluster? Hi, thank Hello. you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you for this. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, it, it would get stuck. Um, so, but I'll bet someone else will come by and grab it. Oh, so. sure, yeah. Garbage is Yep. Even from afar, I can see bicycle or bicycles in the trash. Wow. Really? All right. For some reason, I like these 26 or 27 inch bikes that have th thinner tires. I just do. Where's this gonna go? Hmm. Yeah, he might be riding the rail, or hmm. huh. all right, <laughs> something like that. I let it tangle up. What is this? A GT outpost. Hmm. Have to tie that a little bit better. <sighs> Definitely have to tie that better. I think I'll do that down the street, though, not right in front of their house. This has been the most interesting evening scrapping that I have done in forever. Wow. So I'm going to finish tying this, <laughs> these bicycles down. Hey, what's going on? That can't be. Would someone throw away metal? <laughs> Someone is cooking. I smell barbecue or something. Someone's grilling. And my stomach is grilling. Yeah. That's actually a pretty funny joke. Grilling. Look that up if you get a chance. My stomach is grilling. That's an electric bike. Sweet. Cardboards want to take me out. <sighs> what do you think about an electric trike? Do 
think it's more stable. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not more stable, but I certainly can't fall over when I'm still. Just not sure if I can turn uh, going very fast. But I, for scrapping an electric trike, hmm. Just finished with some awesome evening scrapping. Yeah. And Jesse, my son. Performance, automotive technology, more automotive technology. Yep. Automotive air conditioning, automotive principles and service. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take all these, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that's some evening scrapping right there. Let's pick up this operation in the morning. So a lot of people ask, what is Olivia like just around the house, you know? Not taking her for a walk, not playing with her. Um, yeah. This is what she does. All day long. Hello, Olivia. How are you? Good morning. It's the next morning. I'm gonna take this GT bike off and this Trek bike. Um, yeah, cause it's not in bad shape. I don't think. So, um, yeah, a couple other things I wanna do. I wanna get this ladder off. Um, yeah, good morning. I think there might be the stick for my, my broom. That's a mop. That's a teeny tiny stick that I'm not sure. I, I want a better one. That's what I want. That's a mop. They're all mops. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll take the stick that I have. <laughs> it's this huge broom with a baby stick. That is. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. Huh. Do I need tools for this? <laughs> Guess it'll work. I'm gonna leave it here for now. All right, anything good? I don't have a lot of time. That's cute. Where's the metal at? I just close, oh, there's a cord. I just closed a cord in my door. I heard it. Insulate copper wire. 65 cents a pound. Actually, that's two extension cords. Hmm. Looks interesting, but I'm not sure if it's productive. I see no metal. Nope. Um, over here, where the ladder was. Yeah, that aluminum ladder is just fine. It's tall too, it's like 10 feet. Washing machine. Where am I gonna put it? Bro. On the truck, that's where I'm gonna put it. This is all gonna play out. <laughs> hmm. 
even if this goes up and over, that stuff can't get pushed. All right, tailgate down. You're letting all the weight out, Paul. No, I'm letting the water out. Ooh. <laughs> you can hear the water falling out. A little twisty. Hmm, I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> 7,500. Wow, I'm gonna talk to Michael real quick. Yep, 7,500 pounds. That, that's a lot heavier than I realized. Hey, Hey man, I got a catalytic converter that's on the bottom here. We'll check the number so, inside. Cool man, thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's one of my, yeah, this, this is one of my competition right here. This guy, he's good too. I have seen him packed to the gills from scrapping. Not exactly sure how far to go, especially with the tailgate down. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? Well, good. good, good. Wow, nice. All right, I can go kind of close to where this engine is. Wow, seven thousand five hundred. It's gonna be a thousand pounds? Really? All right, I'm gonna untie everything first. All right, are you okay with offloading with me? Well, let's not do the music today.
rung it like a bell. Out of the way. So the catalytic converter is, I think, attached to this one. Uh, no, these are the mufflers. Because this is a, uh, I have the whole thing from the manifold all the way to the tailpipe. I know it's a catalytic converter. Three hundred a ton. Those. It's for today. <laughs> I remember driving my car when I was a teenager. And I would drive in like a parking lot, empty parking lot, and I kind of hang a left about thirty miles an hour and just whirr, the back brakes would. Yeah, I'm not the only one. Not the only one.
spade. Hmm. I think someone would want that, but I'll... I burned up this blade. It is smooth as can be. <laughs> right, this is aluminum, right? Yeah. That's it. Okay, okay, I like the burger. Going back on. He's coming my way, isn't he? Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait out with the uh, manifold and cat on the truck, so it won't matter. I'm not sure if he's gonna cross the scale or not. drag the cat in there for him to check out I'm hoping 40 bucks 60 bucks I don't know I don't think it'll be much more than that and I think he'll probably struggle with finding the numbers on that catalytic converter 
we'll see. <laughs> this is a bit silly. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. See you later. Hey, Michael. What is happening? So, um. Ta da! Can I hold on to it? Um, and then I'll give you a present in the next. I'm gonna cut it. Yes. Alright, cool. Yeah. You put it off in the corner here? Yes, sir. Alright. Yeah, next time you come in, I'll try to do that. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that or text me, whatever. Nice. You were heavy today. Yeah, man. Should be a thousand? Uh, 760. 760? Oh, I got a full tank of gas, that's why. You are ready to sign. Thanks, man. You have any big cash on the weekend? Hmm. It's on Memorial Day weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, I want to go scrapping on my electric bike. Oh, that's so my thing. E bikes are becoming like this big thing. It, dude, they're so fun. Seriously. Yeah. You're the man. Thank you. Day, I'll see you, man. I'll follow up with you, okay? okay, yeah, thanks. Thank you, God. Thank you for fun. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Lord, let me be your hands and feet. Hmm. Let me do your will today, God. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I know that's... I, I Sometimes I wonder what I pray for. But I do, God. I want a, to be a part of you. Part of your story. <laughs> God, what you're doing? I mean, really? Really? You do all this? It's amazing. Thank you for having me be a part of that. Thank you for us being a part of your big picture, part of your story. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. $195 a net ton, 760 pounds. And yeah, weighed out at 67.40. Okay, yeah, so that was, yeah, that's two, I just got gas too. So that's yeah, over 200 pounds of fuel. $74.10. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Leaving the scrapyard. Of course, what happens? There's a train. It's going kind of fast, it sounds like. No, it's not. One, two, three, four engines. Man, if these are all good pallets. That's like 20 bucks right there. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. They're all good. Thank you, God. Yeah, driving past. I'm like, I can't. Can't pass that up. Yeah, I've been in here and asked before. They're like, yeah, we ever have pallets out? They are free to take. That is one of the few um, Gordon hardware. It's one of the few um, mom and pop shops, hardware stores that are still around. I will always shop there instead of a big box store. Always. I don't I don't care what the price is. I don't care if I'll save a dollar. I'd rather a dollar go to them versus a big box place any day. Uh-oh. Huh. You know what? Scrapyard's like right on the other side. I'm just gonna drive over. 
the whole reason why I picked up those pallets is because I went to the post office box and I had a parcel. Yeah. Keto diet on a budget. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait. Ooh. Hey, hey. What's happening, guys? Want to grab all four? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's good. Yep. Four pallets, my friend. <sighs> so, uh, how are you doing? What? Do you, what? How's your weekend looking? Mm, I think we're having a cookout. What? So that should be um. Keto and cookouts go very well together. But you're vegan, aren't you? No, I'm not vegan. You're not vegan. I'm a, I'm a wannabe. Cook. What? <laughs> no, well I. I think you're a wannabe because a lot of people want to be you. No, Dude, you're, yourself, so, you're so mellow and chill and like, no, man, you got it going on. Yeah, yeah. You you're like mellow. What was I going to say? Um, are they still saying eating plant-based diets is healthier than meat? Well, it was really it's, a, it's, a, it's a bigger question than that. Um, plants obviously are wonderful with so many different chemicals and phytochemicals, but the protein, they're saying that we just lack protein in our diets um, and animal-based proteins rock. They produce more gas though. Okay. Like if you have a lot of plant-based proteins, right. you will be gassier. Okay. Um, Which will, won't make you so popular at the cookout. Might make you really popular. Oh, <laughs> thanks man. Um, All right. But it's so it's that's that's the my curiosity with it. But I think um, I don't know I don't I. There was this guy that would work that would work here mm -hmm. that worked here and he was saying that they were going back on all those things. I don't know where his where he was getting his information. Right. This, but I knew for a while, um, plant based diet was the best thing to do. Sure. Sure. But. Know. You know, I'll, I'll, I, I think, I think just being reasonable is probably the best case. You know, they say, um, here's something that I've been hearing a lot lately. Cause you know, I've been just listening to podcasts like crazy is, um, eat, don't eat a lot and mostly the plants. What does uh, Huberman say about, um, plant-based diets? Has he ever said anything about it? Um, well, I know that he's not a uh, keto. He, I'm, I'm not even sure if he's low carb. Like he's um, not, he doesn't support it. No, I think, well, he, I, he is more about the time restricted feeding. Um, so a lot of people call it intermittent fasting, but a lot of people consider fasting more than 24 hours is fasting when autophagy happens and your body starts, you know, going into a whole bunch of different modes to protect you, um, which is which is really beneficial. But Huberman, what he does, Andrew Huberman, um, he says, do time restricted feeding. He's like, you know, delay your breakfast until like noon and wrap up your eating by six or seven and no snacking. If you do that, you, you, you have less calories um, and your body goes into a mode where it's not having to digest all the time. So it gives your, your gut. That's my brother's idea. Yeah. Maybe you heard it from him. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that makes sense. So, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm doing, um, you know, the time restricted feeding. So he, he, he likes intermediate fasting. I haven't listened to Andrew Huberman that much, but yeah. He has a uh, another super one to listen to is Peter Atia. Um, he's, yeah. he's a medical doctor. Um, he's, he's fantastic. I, um, Tom Bilyeu, uh, is fantastic. It's, um, I mean, if you got time to, to listen, I mean, these are long podcasts, but they get, yeah, yeah. They get so into the details, but Hey man, send me, send me a text and let me know. Um, because I'm curious what this cat goes, um, so goes we'll for. Grind the, we'll grind it down and see, it looks, we'll grind it down and see the number. Okay. 
Because this, I think this tailpipe is titanium. It took us 10 minutes to cut that. I mean, it was, it was nuts. I think it's an aftermarket. I'll let you know, cool? Okay, yeah, man. Cool. Nice. See you later, Michael. See ya. Thanks God for 20 more bucks. Thank you for a, a keto book. Thank you for a change in eating habits, Lord. Hey, hey, what's hey, happening? Cool. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, thanks for all that, God. Thank you for change. Lord, help us change in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better.